It's a condition that had doctors stumped for a while. Then they started putting two and two together, and it all began to make sense. Cell phone rash. Not every user will get it, but it's an itchy problem for those who do. CTV medical expert Avis Favreau has more. Doctors say cell phone users should be on the watch for it, a skin reaction they now call mobile phone dermatitis. What you'll see is a itchy, red, scaly rash on the face where the cell phone might sit, okay, so on the ear and onto the, onto the face. British dermatologists have issued an alert to doctors saying they've seen a growing number of cases of rashes linked to the nickel used in some cell phones, a new trend in North America as well. The nickel is there to make those shiny metal surfaces. You can see that there's a lot of metal in the cell phone, both in the keypad, uh, around the screen, and also near the function button. But not everyone will get a rash, only those sensitive to nickel, and people glued to their cell phones are the most at risk. The more you talk on it, the greater chance you may sweat, and sweat would have a greater chance of leaching out the nickel. A recent U.S. study found nickel in about half the phones produced by eight different manufacturers. If you want to know if your cell phone contains uh, nickel, you can purchase a test called a nickel spot test. They are available online. When you touch the metal with the liquid, it'll turn pink. In fact, doctors have been lobbying Ottawa for new rules on the amount of nickel allowed in products that come in contact with human skin like cell phones, jewelry, even eyeglasses, pointing to Europe as a model for strict new regulations. Meanwhile, for those affected, treatments for cell phone rash include some steroid creams and a more drastic option, a new cell phone. That's because some manufacturers say they have either cut down or plan to eliminate nickel from their newer phone designs. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.